Building a fire is an important skill that teaches Girl Scouts about survival, fire safety, and protecting the environment. Fires can damage soil, and vegetation may not grow back where a fire has been, and taking things out of their natural environment has consequences. For example, the branches and bark we collect might have provided shelter for animals and plants or prevented erosion. That's why it's important to know how to build a fire safely and how to protect the environment. The environmental experts at Leave No Trace offer these guidelines. At a campsite, use fire rings that have already been impacted rather than building new ones. If there are no fire rings, choose a bare spot at least 10 feet away from any trees, roots, or vegetation. In that space, place a pan, like a stainless steel baking pan or the metal ones used to change oil, on top of three to four rocks to use as a platform and protect the ground below. Or build a mound fire using collected mineral soil. Check online for more detailed instructions. To collect wood, find an area that's a good distance from your fire site with a lot of fallen wood. Only collect fallen, dead wood on the ground. Never cut or break wood or branches off a living tree. And never burn trash in a fire. It releases harmful chemicals into the air and creates a messy fire ring that can attract animals in search of an easy meal. Now, let's teach girls how to build a fire. First, figure out where you can build a fire. Are you building one in a backyard fire pit? In an authorized local park setting? At a campsite? Wherever it is, make sure that fire building is allowed. Do you need a permit to build a fire? You can find out what the fire regulation rules are by checking with local city officials or park and camp administrators. Next, gather your fire building materials. You will need matches, a stick to tend to the fire, a water bucket, three or four gallon jugs of water, a small shovel, a rake. Have girls collect about two handfuls of tinder, like twigs, pine needles, weeds, or thin pieces of bark from dead trees. Tinder is what starts the fire and lights the smaller pieces of wood. Then collect an armful of kindling, like dry sticks, branches, and twigs about 6 to 12 inches long and as thick as an adult thumb. Kindling is used to light the bigger pieces of wood. Finally, collect fuel, firm pieces of wood no larger than an adult wrist, but larger than kindling. Avoid wood that crumbles since it will smolder and smoke without giving off heat. Make sure to remind girls about safety rules. They should tie back their hair and wear closed toe shoes. Avoid wearing synthetic clothes like nylon windbreakers near a fire. Never leave a fire unattended. Never walk across or reach over a fire. And never use liquid fire starters like gasoline. Now you're ready to build your fire. The most basic way is to start with an A-frame. Here's how. Take three pieces of kindling and form the letter A, leaving an airspace under the crossbar. Lay a handful of tinder against the crossbar on the inside. Lean tinder toward the center. Strike the match close to the tinder and away from your body. Hold the match under the crossbar and tinder at ground level so the flames burn upward. Then place kindling so it leans against the crossbar above the flaming tinder. You may need to blow softly at the base of the fire to add oxygen. Once the kindling is burning, slowly place the large pieces of wood over the A-frame. Leave air spaces and use only the amount of wood you need. Keep your fire small to conserve fuel and avoid creating too much smoke. To put your fire out, carefully sprinkle small amounts of water on the fire and stir the coals with the stick or shovel. Never pour water on a fire. It will become steam, which can rise up and burn girls' faces and hands. Once the fire has died down, sprinkle water on hot spots and continue to stir the ashes. When the fuel and coals in the fire circle are cool enough so you can place the back of your hand close to it, your fire is out. Remember that girls learn by doing. Have girls collect materials and practice building their fire. When they are ready, teach them how to safely strike a match and light a fire. As girls progress with their fire building skills, they can experiment with other types of fires, like a teepee, log cabin, or crisscross fire. 
and set aside time for girls to reflect on how they built the fire, how they stayed safe, and how they minimized their impact on the environment. The tips and guidelines in this video are just some of what you need to know. Girl Scouts offers many other resources to make fire building outdoors the best experience it can be. Check out the book Outdoor Education in Girl Scouting, available at the Girl Scouts online store. Go to Venture Out on the Girl Scout University website to learn practical tips and tricks for taking girls outdoors and to read other volunteer stories. Watch the Camp Hacks videos on Girl Scouts YouTube channel for a playlist that includes information about how to start a campfire. Learn more about Leave No Trace at www.lnt.org, especially principle number five, minimize campfire impact. And the Girl's Guide to Girl Scouting includes several badge booklets with helpful information about fire building.